Hi. Welcome to another session with Learning with Israr. Today our topic is Procurement Analytics. Procurement Analytics is the process of collecting and analyzing procurement data to support the important decision-making in procurement spending and important insights into the whole procurement process. Traditionally procurement analytics was just examining the past data of procurement which were usually printed out in Microsoft Excel but now procurement analytics is powered by artificial intelligence which has automated the procurement analytics by combining many data sources. After defining the procurement analytics, now let's see how the analytics are done and what types of data analytics are applied in procurement. There are many types of procurement analytics available like descriptive which analyze the historical data from actual purchases while other analytics like diagnostic find out the causes of problems if there are any. Others are advanced analytics like predictive and prescriptive those can predict and create ideal budgets and strategies for future procurements to mitigate risks and disruptions and improve profitability opportunities. As we know that procurement analytics is the process of collecting and analyzing procurement data. So let's see first see what procurement data and the sources. Procurement data is defined as information regarding the goods or services procured by the, the businesses which could be acquired by two sources, internal data and external data. Now let's see what the sources from where we get the data. Internal data sources, enterprise resource planning, ERP, accounting solutions, invoice and purchase order management system. Customer Relationship Management CRM, Platforms Vendor Relationship Management VRM, Solutions Contract Management Solution External Data Sources Company and Supplier Information Procurement Benchmarking Services Competitive Intelligence Systems Public Procurement Datasets Procurement Data Solutions After discussing the definition of procurement analytics, types, Procurement data and sources. Let's discuss the important areas of procurement where procurement analytics is applied. Following are the areas where procurement analytics is applied 1. Spend analytics, 2. Supplier analytics, 3. Spend forecasting analytics, 4. Market analytics, 5. Sustainability analytics, 6. Savings lifecycle analytics. Now let discuss these one by one. The most important area where procurement analytics are applied is spend analytics which is the analysis of procurement spending data taken from internal or external sources of the business which may include Invoice analytics, which is analysis of invoice data and payment cycles, purchase order analytics, it is the analysis of purchase orders, maverick spend, and purchase order cycle times. Payment term analytics is the analytics of different payments terms and their impact on working capital improvement opportunities. Next area of procurement analytics is supplier analytics, is the analysis and comparison of individual suppliers performance, analysis of supplier risks, analysis of sustainability, and analysis of supplier base. Here are areas of supplier analytics. A. Operational analytics. B. Financial analytics. C. Contract Analytics, D. Diversity Analytics and E. Social Media Analytics. Now let's see one by one. Operational Analytics, this type of supplier analytics focuses on the operational data of a company's supply chain, such as supplier performance, on-time delivery, and quality metrics. Financial Analytics, this type of supplier analytics focuses on the financial data of a company's suppliers, such as invoices, payment history, and credit risk. Contract analytics, this type of supplier analytics focuses on the contractual data of a company's suppliers, such as pricing, terms, and conditions. Diversity analytics, the analysis of social responsibility and diversity in the supply base, on category and individual supplier level. Social media analytics, this type of supplier analytics focuses on the social media data of a company's suppliers to find the market reputation of the supplier, such as online reviews and ratings. The third area of procurement analytics is spend forecasting analytics, which is about the future procurement spending data and its impact on profitability and planning and budgeting. 
Another important area of procurement analytics is market analytics, which is the systematic review of the characteristics, capacity and capability of the supply market to understand the extent to which the market meets the needs of the buying organization and to evaluate the risks and disruptions, also discovers opportunities by benchmarking the purchase prices against the market price dynamics. Sustainability analytics is the part of CSR policy of buying organization in which the analysis of environmental, labor, and human rights, ethics, and sustainable procurement targets for the business and achievements is done. Last but not the least is the savings lifecycle analytics which gives the up-to-date visibility to the savings realization with full details and their impact on the financial bottom line of the buying organization. This was a brief discussion about procurement analytics in which I tried to touch base basic concepts of procurement analytics, types of analytics, definition of procurement data, sources of data and its application in different area of procurement process like sourcing, suppliers, purchasing, payment and other environmental issues. In next video I will try to discuss the importance of procurement analytics and how it helps procurement managers to achieve the efficiency and effectiveness, while serving the supply chain optimally. Till then take care and goodbye.